to show you this. Check this out. Now, you really think, just answer me this. Do you really think the sun is 93 million miles away? Look at this. Okay, let's say here's the sun. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. We're at 45, 46 million kilometers. Here comes the first planet coming up. There it is. It's a dot. It's Mercury at 57 million kilometers. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep, keep going, keep going. We're approaching 85 million kilometers. 90 million kilometers. Wow, look at this. Look, another planet. It's a little bit bigger than a dot, too. It's Venus. 108 million kilometers away. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. 128 million halfway home, they say. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that. Earth! Now you're telling me this little dot, in comparison with that big yellow circle that's supposedly 93 million miles away, if this little dot tilts 23 degrees in one direction, it's going to change the temperature that significantly as it does from wintertime to summertime? Are you kidding me? No. The temperature would be constant throughout the entire surface, even the backside of the Earth, if that were the case. There would not be any temperature variance at all if the Earth was 93 million miles away, if this was the correct model of the universe. It just wouldn't be. It's just ridiculous, okay? And plus two, as far as like the positioning of the sun in the sky, if the Earth was tilted, it would not. You would not see any variance in the position of the sun in the sky from this distance. Just a matter of mathematics. It's ridiculous, guys. So the heliocentric model is dead. It's bullshit. They all know it too. And you guys all fall for it. It's sad.